Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We just finished solving all the math problems from this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. As I said, we just finished doing the math problem from this book. If you need help with any of the math questions, you will find 50 lessons, 1 through 50, HESI Math Day 1. The math on the HESI is very similar to the math that you will find on the T's, and there are 80 videos there that will also help you a great deal in terms of improving your math skill. Right now, we are in the process of learning vocabulary. Yesterday, on day number one, today is our lesson number two, yesterday we began doing the vocabulary words that you find in chapter number three, beginning on page number 48. We're going to pick up from where we left off. The next word that we're going to learn, we did up to, up to number six. Next word we're going to do is number seven. The word is... Adverse. Adverse. Adverse is an adjective and it has two meanings, two different meanings. Let's look at them. When we talk about adverse effects, when one talks about adverse effect, one meaning is something that is undesired, undesired, unintended, or rather unintended, unintended consequences or results or effects. Something that you were not intending on, something that you were not planning on, something that you did not expect, but it happened nonetheless, those are referred to as adverse effect. Or it could also mean harmful effect. It could also mean harmful effect. Harmful or negative effects. So when someone talks about adverse effect, it does not necessarily mean that it's harmful or negative. It could just mean you are not counting on it. You are not you are not expecting it. It just happened unexpectedly. Or it could also mean that not only it was unexpected, but it's also very negative, very harmful, uh, very, very injurious. Harmful or injurious effect. Injurious comes from the word injury, of course. Something that causes injury is said to be injurious, harmful, uh, negative. What's the noun of it? The noun of adverse would be the noun of adverse would be adversity. Adversity would be the noun. And the plural of adversity is adversities. What are adversities? Adversities are, are hardship, hardship in life, misfortune, or Afflictions. Afflictions, pain and suffering. Pain and sufferings. Pain and pain and sufferings of life, the hardship in life. 
the misfortune, the afflictions of life are said to be the adversities of life. And one, one, one simply has no choice but to overcome, overcome the adversities of life. Everyone faces adversities in life. One simply has to overcome them, that's all, and move on with one's life, obviously. The next word that we have, next word that we have is So this was adversity was eight in my notes here. The next we have is this. Effect versus versus effect. Effect versus effect. Effect is a verb. Effect is a well actually here yeah, let's 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 take a second here. Do you know this word? Do you know how to pronounce it? M is silent. M M is silent. One does not pronounce the M. It is pronounced mnemonic. 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 What is a mnemonic device? A mnemonic device is something, a mnemonic device. Uh, this is a tricky one because this is also tricky. This word and this word. One is a noun, one is a verb. I should not have gone into it. I should not have gotten into it because now I'm making a fool of myself because I can't remember which one is a noun and which one is a verb. Device and device. I think that's the verb. Device. To device some, something which means to do, to, 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 to find a way of doing something. So usually crafty. Device I believe is a noun. But you can put a question mark because as I said I've gotten myself into it now I have to get myself out of it. Mnemonic is a device that so will be noun right here. Mnemonic is a memory device. It is a memory device that that helps us remember something. Mnemonic is a memory device. What is it? It's a memory device that help, uh, helps us remember something. For example, you must have when, when, when people talk about when, when people talk about order of operations, when people talk about order of operations in mathematics, when people talk about the order of operations, trying to remember which one should we do first? Should I multiply first? Should I should I take care of the exponents first? Should I take the parentheses first? Should I add or subtract first? What should I do first? If there are a whole bunch of operations that need to be performed, in what order am I supposed to go? That helps us this helps us remember the proper legitimate order of operations. And the mnemonic device that people use typically is what we hear as PEMDAS. Or sometimes people say please please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It's a mnemonic device, it's a memory device, it helps us remember something. It helps us remember something. But I have a mnemonic device that I use. I have a mnemonic device that I use to keep the effect and effect separate. It's a very silly one, but it works for me. I don't know if it's going to work for you or not. That's it. I think of a NOVA. I don't know why, it just... And that reminds me that the verb is effect. That's the word. If verb is effect, then noun must be effect. Do you understand? But when the time comes, not right now, not right now, when the time comes, one day, in our, mem in our, in our vocabulary lessons, we're going to spend a great deal of time going into more detail. This is a very superficial job, because there is a lot more to, it, to, to these words than what we are talking about right now. As I said, we are doing a very superficial job right now, for the, so for the time being, Let's just keep the two words in abeyance, okay? Let's just keep them in abeyance. Later on, we'll cover them in detail. But the mnemonic device is NOVA, which tells me the verb is effect. But for the time being, for the time being, let's, let's keep them in abeyance. Let's keep them in abeyance. Let's keep them aside, let's put them away for the time being, we'll deal with them later. If you recall, if you watch the if you watch any of the 
regular vocabulary videos, you may recall the word abeyance we learned a long time ago. Long, long time ago we learned the word abeyance. I'm going to give you the day number where you're going to find it. Day number 9. This, this, when I talk about day number 9, it's this, this vocabulary series here. So far, as I speak, there are 75 videos. Eventually there are going to be 100 of them. On day number 9, we learned about abeyance which simply means to keep something aside, let's put it aside, we'll deal with it later, to keep something in a state of suspension, okay? Let's not get into the effect and effect right now, I want to keep on moving. The next word we have is... O. The first syllable is O. Second syllable is D. This thing makes a sound. Upside down A is a sound. So there's D. O, D. Audible. The pronunciation is audible. It's an adjective. What does it mean when you describe something as being audible? It simply means something something that can be that can be something that can be heard if i can hear it if i can hear it the sound is audible i can hear it it can be heard what's the antonym of audible the antonym the opposite the antonym would be inaudible you just stick the prefix in in front of in front of it. You just stick the prefix. You just stick the prefix in front of the audible, and we end up with inaudible, which means it cannot be heard. It cannot be heard. I can't hear it. Can you please speak up? The people in the back cannot hear you. Your speech is very inaudible. Do you understand? His speech was inaudible. His speech was inaudible to people sitting in the back row. Your voice is not your voice is not audible. Please turn on the microphone. It's not audible. It is inaudible. Please turn on the microphone. That's it. I think I'm going to stop right here because if I keep on going, the video is going to be very long. I will see you on day number three. Okay? So we'll stop at number ten. Bye now.